today I'm finally doing my makeup routine on here. Pretty much I've gotten a lot of comments on TikTok as well as my lives asking what products I use and all sorts of stuff. So I thought like today I'd finally make a video on it. I'm going to be doing this in natural lighting so you guys could see exactly how I do stuff and more detailed. I'm going to be showing you guys like the products I use, um, like how I do certain things and stuff. So van the only thing today is i'm gonna be a little bit more extra in my routine just because i do have a party that i'm gonna go to later so it's just gonna have like a little bit more eyeshadow and all that so yeah if you guys like how my makeup turns out si les gusta como sale mi maquillaje siguen viendo pretty much i'm gonna be having music in the back you know guys la rolladora first thing i use is like ponds i personally use always like this blue one there's also other colors i know there's like a pink one that's, that's all I know. I literally rub this all over my face. Make sure everything like goes in each spot. It's because I have really dry skin. Just so you guys could like also like think about it. I have really dry skin in some areas. So I've always like used this. Also guys, another thing. I do not use primer. Yes, it's going to be crazy. Like y'all going to be telling me like, como que you don't use primer. I do not. Literally, this is my primer. <laughs> rub this in all the way up to like my neck and make sure like it's not white as you guys like was able to see right now the next thing in my routine is my eyebrows i use the got to be glue as you guys can see pretty much just to like hold in my hairs um and then i use this brush it's an elf brush hopefully i don't know if you guys can see um it's an elf brush it has like a little spoolie and then this thing take some out and then just get it on this part of the end and then i just start going into my brows i don't put a lot just because i don't want them like really like hard because it really does like glue them in there once i like got it onto the brow i use the spoolie part and pretty much i just brush the hairs of the direction i want it you're gonna see like right here there's like extra like glue but right now we're gonna like get rid of it for now just brush them how you want i brush them like this and then at the top i just kind of like do that like that and as you, you guys can see like we have like extra glue i literally just wipe it off <laughs> i literally just wipe it off with my finger the reason i like wipe it off um with my finger the extra glue that's on the skin is because when i first use this I put the foundation over it and then you can see like the little clusters of glue like trying to come off you know so pretty much it's only for the brow hairs try not to get it as much as on your skin and if you do literally just get your finger and like take it off i know all of us have like different like eyebrows you know i think as you can see my eyebrows are more skinny than the other people but i feel like these are the brows that like sue me best but i mean i still kind of brush them out a little bit but i still like them in like a skinny look Let's listen a little bit to La Rolladora. Hopefully you guys can hear them. I don't know. Pretty much these are my brows with the glue. Make sure you let them until like they dry. So be here for like, I don't know, maybe like less than two minutes just like this. So they could like perfectly dry down. The next thing I use is this e.l.f. I don't know if you guys can see. Is this e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I This is the color Auburn, but that's just because I dyed my hair sort of copperish looking. So I use this color, but you guys try to find pretty much whatever shade you guys want. Um, I don't know how many shades they have. Maybe like six, seven, eight. I don't know. I'm not sure. I just kind of fill in the spaces. I just don't, I don't really do it so hard. Just so like wherever there's sparse areas, I just color them in. I also make the brow tail a little bit longer. Just like a little bit, not so much. And also fix my arch a little bit like that pretty much these brows are sisters they are not twins i know that so that's pretty much how they look after you use the glue and then this pencil and the next thing i do is conceal my brows so for the bottom half of my brow i use the maybelline fit me concealer this is the shade 15 in light um we we love this product so much <laughs> Um, and then I use this brush. It looks like this. Hopefully, I don't know if you, I don't know if it's gonna like focus, but that's how it looks. It's from the brand Anjou, A-N-J-O-U. I know this came from Amazon. So 
yeah and they're tiny it's literally the size of my hand they're really tiny but i love this brush to like carve out my brow so like try to conceal the brow as close as i can i love them very sharp and like good Do it like that, go all the way in the brow. I like pass by more than the like the end of the brow tail. And then I just kind of like blend it in a little bit that I can with this same brush. I also go past this part a little bit too in the beginning of the brow like that. So that's how that looks. I use this brush. Hopefully you guys can see. <laughs> Not me holding so many products. Um, this is from Shein. I'll see if I can find the exact brush. I'm not so sure, but yeah, this is the brush I use. It's like pink. It's like a light pink on this. And then all I do is pretty much blend out a little bit of the bottom part. Try not to get it so close to where the actual eyebrow is. So like that. Bottom is set to go. Now I'm just going to do the other eye. Blend a little bit in the middle here. Not so much close to the side, but just like right here in the middle. Next thing I use is this Tarte double duty beauty concealer um this is the shade 425 tan sand why did i say the name wrong it's the shade tan concealer it just says that sorry <laughs> um this is what i use it's more closer to my shade maybe a little bit orange but it's okay so pretty much this is the color that i use for the top of the brow i use the same brush that i use for the bottom and then this is where i most likely fuck up Pretty much, I just go with how the brow is. So that's how it is. And then I remember I use the same brush and just kind of blend the top of it as much as I can, you know? So seamless look. Now I'm gonna do the other brow. So after both sides are blended out, you see how there's like still these like two little lines in the middle? I kind of just like blend them a little bit, not so much, but just a little bit the brows are finished so these are how mine usually come out remember guys they're sisters not twins now i color correct a little bit i actually got this recently it's the elf camo color corrector pretty much it's in the color peach there's this one and there's a darker version like almost like uh like an orange but this one works on more lighter to medium skin tones and the darker one is more for like medium to darker tones and i thought this one worked well for me just because my under eyes aren't so dark so also pay attention to the color of um your under eyes and that's how you'll know which color to use grab some and just put it a little bit under the eye just like this we we'll have dark spots then i have some here in my nose and then right here um this part like that just use my finger and just tap just tap it in. I don't know if you guys could see a difference like on camera just because we have really good natural lighting right now. But in person, there is a difference. I think you could kind of see like they kind of got brighter, less dark as they were. Especially this area if you noticed. Now, you guys might think I'm crazy, but literally I go in again with my pond's cream <laughs> um i literally go in again but i try not to touch the areas where i literally just color correct pretty much where my foundation's gonna go i don't know why i think it's because you know how like my skin is dry like i said before i think that's kind of why like i like do it again just so like my foundation could like go go on good and smooth without it being patchy and stuff you know also on the forehead part, try not to go where the concealer you just put. Next step in my routine is foundation. So for my foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation. It's in the shade um, 312 in golden. Um, I use this with this brush. I have not used a sponge in years. Um, this brush is the Wet n Wild P55. Um, my madrina actually got me the brushes so thanks to her <laughs> um you know so pretty much i use this brush with my foundation foundation does not have a pump so literally you have to kind of get it with your fingers um and i literally only put it in the areas where only my foundation is gonna go i do not put it like under my eyes where the concealer goes you know i just put it everywhere else see like right here i also just put it up in this area now where like i had the foundation as well 
not not the foundation i mean concealer <laughs> um also for where i color correct that is where i put it like right here i do put it here in this ear areas but where the concealer goes i do not put foundation there so this is how much foundation i kind of put now after i just use the brush and pretty much just like blend it out like this I do try to put some in my eyelid, just a little bit, but not so much, just because that's where the concealer is going to go later for my, like, when I do my eyeshadow. I just be blending and blending this into my skin as much as I can until, like, you know, you see everything that you want it covered. And I do bring it a little bit into my neck, just a little bit. I think my shade match is a little bit off, but, you know, after the concealer and bronzer and blush, it looks good guys, do not worry, trust the process. As you can see, my skin is looking glowy because of the ponds, because of the crema I was using. Um, and that's literally how I want my skin to look for now before all the powders. That's how I know everything's gonna come out blended. Like I know that's when my makeup's gonna be like a good day. <laughs> now the next thing I do in my routine is a little bronzing, contouring, whatever. Um, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again, except in a darker shade. This is the shade um, 45 in tan, and pretty much I just go like right here where my under my cheekbone is, right here and right here. Then on my forehead, just on this area, and then I just grab a little bit on my nose like this, and then just kind of go like, just like that. Then I use this brush. This is the Elf small tapered brush and then pretty much i just blend that out and i love how like my blushes and like the concealer and this bron like bronzing little thing um they all go together like they all mix pretty well it like blends out really perfectly and everything i love how like the formula is and everything you know it blends out easily so there's like no harsh lines i've never had a problem with like any of my products that i've used and like guys i'm not gonna lie like i've never been the type to like buy new things like you know how like the new influencers like on tiktok they'd be like oh my god this product and this product i really do not be buying like new products like that like i feel like my routine's already like good so i don't really like try to buy like new stuff you know unless something's like really convincing me like to buy it now right now we look really bronzed up right but this is like there's still gonna be stuff going over on top of this. The next step in my routine is blush. And I actually use two different blushes. I use the e.l.f. Um, Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Dusty Rose. And then I use its more expensive sister in the Rare Beauty and Joy. Then in the brush, I use the Wet n Wild P65. It looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see. And first I go in with the e.l.f. blush. And I pretty much just put it on this area of my cheeks. On the apples of my cheeks. I just use this brush and just pretty much pat. Pat away. Focusing more on the under of my eyes and going a little bit up but not all the way up. Because that's where we're going to use the darker color. We use the Rare Beauty and we pretty much put a dot. You guys know not to use a lot of this. Just put a dot up here on the higher points. And then I just use the same brush and just blend it. But I literally try only to blend it in that area and a little bit going down here. But I try not to go on top of what the e.l.f. blush just did. I like how these two blushes work out together. It's like pretty, it looks pretty. I always want like the, like the darker more up and then I want it more lighter going like down, you know? And then I try to blend it in with the bronzer now i'm gonna use the concealer i use for the top of my brow which is the tape shape tape concealer in the 425 tan sand um and pretty much this is what i'm gonna use as like my concealer right here this is how much usually i put then right here my forehead on the bridge of my nose a little bit right here and then a little bit on my chin and then i use the same brush that i used on the top of my brows or all over my brows pretty much and then i just blend it out 
and pretty much i like like this concealer because you guys know the formula of it is like it's an og it's like pretty good you know and everything i also try to like go right here where my nose where like my little contour is gonna be like i kind of just like shape it a little bit as you guys can see and i do like little strokes like i don't like swipe it do not swipe guys literally pat like very gently like you're gonna see a difference like you know when you do your technique like you're gonna see a difference like look you see how like it's like seamless together or if you don't want to put more um concealer like on your eyelids just use what you use so far and pretty much just put it on your eyelid like a little bit goes a long way you don't have to use that much product on your eyelid because i mean either way foundation is gonna go like on top of it and like not foundation <laughs> sorry eyeshadow is gonna go on top of it remember guys little strokes i have like a crooked nose i'm not gonna lie so like my nose is like even more careful i then use this brush it's the elf this one does not have a number i think it faded away but it looks like this I think it's a foundation brush and pretty much wherever I like did the concealer where it's going to like the blush I literally just pat it a little bit so it could like blend in nicely and there's like no strokes in case you have some I especially do this on the forehead so it could really like blend in there and then I do it like here on my nose for a more blend and soft look see like that it's not as harsh then I blend a little bit here and on here okay now guys for the final step of the wet cream items i use another concealer this is the fit me uh, maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 11 vanilla is it vanilla yeah and literally <laughs> i put it on top of the concealer i just did but i only do it in this portion and in this area literally i only just use a little bit these are the only areas that i put this one in oh and here but not a lot because since this is like way more lighter than me this is where like i really want it like very bright and white not white but you know what i mean then i just use this brush and just blend it out in these areas now here you really want small little strokes you see how like it brightened it up really quick in this area right here just so it doesn't look streaky you know you could just blend it a little bit more farther but try not to go where like the other concealer went literally just in this area and this is where especially i do it for the nose you know so it could really like snatch it up i need my little mirror because i really need to see what i'm doing i'm kind of just like basing it off like the camera but i think it's looking pretty good this is just for like an extra little like highlight now when you're sure everything is blended everything's good i use the elf um stay all night micro fine setting spray up to 16 hour wear it's in this color in the green color i know there's like two other ones there's like a white one and a blue one but i think this one works best and pretty much i like spray the hell out of my face literally once you spray yourself dry yourself up make sure like it's not wet like it's all dry because if you put the powder right after you do this it's not gonna look good you have to wait until this like fully dries you can even use a paper to like fan yourself but i can't find a paper <laughs> right, everything's dry i was using this paper <laughs> once you for sure everything is dry right now i dried everything up it's gonna look like this glowy this is when you're gonna do your powders now the first powder i used is to set where my foundation was and it is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte Plus Poreless Press Powder. This is the shade 310 in Sun Beige. I tried to find one that was closest to my foundation shade. And pretty much for this one, I use a powder puff. I got this from Shein. Um, just put it on the powder puff and I literally just pat only where the foundation one is at. Pretty much this sets the foundation if you guys see a difference you can see like the part where i put the foundation is like matte but where i haven't put it yet it's still glossy 
Now with the same powder puff, we are now gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder um, in the shade 20 in light medium. This is like a little bit, um, just a little bit um, lighter than my actual shade. So what I do is that I like pretty much get the powder, use the same powder puff as the um, the pressed powder. <laughs> I will I grab it with the powder puff like this, but now I use the top right here and I press it down. Make sure everything is even on the powder puff. And then from there, you just go on where the concealer was, like that. I kind of like snatch my nose in the process, as you can see right here. And then right here on the bridge of the nose, I put some too. Then I also put this on my forehead, you know, wherever I put the concealer so it could like set in place. And pretty much I'm just patting in place and also on my eyelids as well so I could set it because right now I'm actually going to do um, foundation. I keep saying foundation. I keep, um, I'm going to do eyeshadow actually for today. But make sure to pat everywhere. My like God, so there's like no like harsh lines from the powder. Next thing I do is bronzer. This is the NYX something bronzer. The name literally left, and it broke while I was in Mexico. Yeah, so let's ignore that. So pretty much, um, I don't know where this brush is at too. Is from? No idea where this is from. But we're just gonna get some of that dust off the excess, and then. Just go to where I put the bronzer. I'm dead. <laughs> We're just gonna put it for where I put the cream bronzer at. I also put a little bit, the axis of whatever I did there, put a little bit here. Cause I don't like this part looking so white. I don't know why. I never really like it looking so white. Just a little bit, just add a little bit of color like that. Now we're gonna use a smaller brush to do the little nose contour. I'm not a pro at this, so just letting you know. We're gonna use this little brush. This is from, I know it's the Eco Tools. It has like this part of the brush in the front and then this side. So I use that same bronzer and then just do the contour a little bit. I'm not so great at this. I kind of just like wing it, I'm not gonna lie. The next thing is the powder blush. And I used two. I used the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte um, Blush in the color Summer Breeze. And then I used this e.l.f. blush in the color Always Rosy. It's the, prim the Primer Infused Blush. I used the lighter one, which is the NYX one. And I literally put it how I told you guys where I only put the e.l.f. one. So where the lighter shade was at. I pretty much go like that. Only where the lighter one is at. Well, you could go higher up, but then that's where we're going to use the darker one. Literally how we did it for the cream blush. Or liquid blush. Sorry. This is my first time doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now, once we put that blush, we're going to use the e.l.f. one. And we are going to put it on the higher points of the cheek, which is like almost to the brow. If I could open this. And then we're going to just go more darker. It's almost the same shade. But I'm gonna show you guys another one I use as well. I think it's the other one that I use. It's because I always forget. Like I literally always add each one. I also have this other NYX um, Sweet Cheeks one and this is in the color Citrin Rose. I think this is the darker one. And this is the one where I use up here. Yeah, I think this was the darker one. It's because I always forget which one I use. Yeah, I know this is my routine boy spittle. Fuck, I'd be forgetting. So like that, and then I put a little bit on my nose like that. Just a little bit, not so much. And then just a little bit, literally just a dust on the forehead. And just a little bit all around, like that. Now we have one more powder left to do, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I use a different powder puff, not the same one I used, a different one because this is a way lighter color. Literally looks white, guys. I don't know what shade this is. This is light. It's just called light. This is like, I think this is the lightest one. And this is where I put it only where that lightest concealer I put. Literally only right here. 
and I blend it as much as I can so I have no harsh lines because I'm actually gonna dust this one away with a brush I love this song hear this part So this is where I actually carve more of the um, nose. I use more of this powder to carve it out good. And pretty much remember always to dab it, dab it on the top of the lid. So it's like even on the powder puff. So this is where I do this part. And then a little dot right here. You don't really have to like pat this one in because how I said guys, this is the one where like, we're gonna dust off with a brush right now. Pretty much like this. Remember guys, you don't have to really like, like blend it, but don't really pat it in. Cause we're not gonna leave it like this. With a big fat brush, this is the Wet n Wild P60. Um, I just literally dust it off like that. I make sure this is like really blended because um, when I remember before I wouldn't like dust it off good enough and like there would be like a white circle like a half a circle right here and I'm like in my photos I'm like oops so pretty much this is how the base looks now we use the same setting spray and we're only gonna do a small spritz not like how we did it before just a small one just so I could set it I love a matte look and this is kind of gives me just a good amount. Like we don't want to put a lot because you know how before it was looking all dewy. This is going to make it good and set. And I don't know why I've always liked doing the lash, like the eyelashes first. I don't know. I just always liked how they come out. I don't know where this eyelash curler is from. I'm pretty sure it's from Mexico. I think. I'm not so sure. Um, and pretty much it just stayed with me. But you guys literally could use any curler. Like it doesn't really matter. As long as it curls your lashes a bit. You know, now once they're a little bit curled, I use the Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. Bro, Maybelline got to, like, got to sponsor me because <laughs> you have you seen how many products I use from them? Yeah, um, I use this. This is how it looks. And then I pretty much just put, coat it all over my lashes. Now, guys, like I told you, I'm going to go to a party. So I'm going to do my eyes a little bit darker. But this is literally what I use whenever I go to a violet. You know, this is the same damn colors I always use. So I'm gonna actually use the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's been very loved. And we're just gonna use this, a little fluffy brush. I have no idea where this is from. Oh, this is Morphe. I have no idea the number though. And we're gonna use this color right here and pretty much gonna like put it all over my eye. Ignore this thing on my, uh, my hand. I burned myself <laughs> with the curler, with the, um, the wand. So pretty much after that color is on your lid, I'm going to use this color right here and going to put it only on the bottom half of my lid. Like I like that little ombre look, you know, where it goes light to like dark at the bottom. That's literally how I always do my eyeshadow for like a violet. That's how you're going to want it to look. And for the final dark color, I'm going to do a mix of this one right here and this one. So these two and pretty much only do it close to the lash line. Let me put it right here. Only gonna want these colors more close to the lash line right here. So like that. You can see a difference, right? I don't know, I've always liked doing it. I also use a different palette. Um, it's also, a, it's a Morphe one, but I cannot find it right now. I have no idea where I left it. But this Jaclyn Hill also was like the one I would always use before, so. These two are like my go-tos. Depending how dark you want your eyelids to go, you could use more of the color. Um, I think I'm just gonna use a little bit more darkness today. Just a little bit. If you think your lines are looking very harsh, just use the first blending blush, brush, <laughs> um, and just literally just connect it to your blush. 
pretty much. So it's not so harsh. Just like that. The next thing I do is eyeliner. So I actually barely been using this recently. It's the Maybelline, again, <laughs> Lasting Drama um, Eyeliner. It's a, a little pop. And then I use this e.l.f. Um, angled brush. I don't know if you guys could see. Um, and pretty much I just put glue on the tip and then just like pinch it so it's like nice and straight. Ooh. What I do is I get some of the brush and then I put it like on my hand right here so I could be getting like small amounts. This is the part where like a lot of people ask me like how I do my eyeliner. So I just like how I said I put a small bit and then just kind of put it on the brush and then literally I just try to make it straight I don't go up I kind of just do it like a straight line so pretty much I do like a guide first like a small line of like my guide just so I could like know exactly where I'm gonna go that is how long I think I want it so I'm just gonna go in darker not darker harder like a more pressure and then I'm just gonna connect the wing to the line to my eyelid oh my god pretty much like that from there all i do is just add more product so i could fill in the gap since like right here it's already dark i don't really have to put that much there because it's i mean it's already dark that's how far i think i want it to go But also guys, if you guys don't think you could do it with this, the another good um, eyeliner, like a liquid eyeliner I use is the Maybelline. No, it's not Maybelline. It's the, no, it is Maybelline. Oh, I don't know if I could, if I have like an old one, but it's like all black like this. And then there's like a pink line in the middle. It just goes like that. I don't know what it's called, but that was, that's like my go-to. But I kind of wanted to get like a more brown one and I couldn't find one until I found like this like, Hot little one so I thought oh maybe like I'll try this one uh, what I know I see other people do is that they do like that little line that like goes all the way over here I do not do that I feel like that does not go with my eye shape I've tried it I didn't like how it looked so I don't do that I just kind of like go up to here and like you know that's kind of it this is how the eyeliner looks now I'm just going to do the other one on the other eye. I think I look a little weird right now just because I'm looking at my eyes this angle, like over here. But it looks good. I, let me see if I'm looking at the actual camera. That's how it looks. But it's going to look better with lashes, don't worry. Done with both. I, this side looks a little bit darker, but that's because the light is more hitting this side. But pretty much that is how they're looking. The next thing I do is the, the lashes. Ignore them. I had to cut them out of the whole packaging. These are sh from Shein. I have no idea what the name of them or the number, I don't know, but these are from Shein. And then the glue I use is the Duo Clear Glue, the green one. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, yeah. I'm gonna cut the lashes because these are always like too big for my eye. Guys, if you have big eyes and they fit you good, good. But if you guys have like smaller eyes, I always recommend cutting your lashes. Always cut them just so they can fit your eye and then they won't be poking you throughout the day. So what I always do is that sometimes there is a little piquito from the beginning. I sometimes cut that part off. And then, you know, pretty much I just kinda, well, I, I already know how much I have to cut off with these lashes because I've put them on many times. But try to measure it with your eye so then you guys like know exactly like where to cut. But since I already know these, I'm telling you guys, I already know how much to cut off. Get the glue. And then you're just gonna like apply generously on the lash strip. And then after I do this, I'm, I just set it on the side so then they could like, you know, tacky up. Um, and while they're tacking up, that's when I do like, um, I put the eyeshadow on the bottom of my lashes. With the brush that we use to do the nose contour, I use this side of the brush now. And I use the same, I use the dark, the second darkest sh um, shadow I used. And that's when I do it for the bottom, the bottom lid, the bottom lid, the bottom part of my eye. Now we're going to use this part where like the bronzing was. And we're going to do the first color we put. It's kind of close to my bronzing color. So I just kind of use the same thing. And then I just like blend it at the bottom so it's not like harsh or anything. 
now this is optional but i do use a black liner and i line the top and the bottom of my waterline i do it for the top just so like it looks good all seamless like it's black and for the top one i do it before i put on the lashes and then once i put on the lashes i do the bottom one i don't know if you guys tell but i already did this eye it looks a little bit darker than this part like the top waterline i don't know if you guys could tell but i know i could tell and that's what's important while the lashes are still a little bit drying i forgot to do this earlier but i actually used the the loose fit me powder and i do like a little bit carving like a little bit just very just very little I'm just gonna brush it off with um a big fluffy brush like that it's gonna look like this I kind of like try to blend it a little bit so then when I take it off the line is not so harsh but I do like excessively like brush it off so the same fluffy brush that we used earlier we're gonna like go like this at the beginning and then a little bit like this we want it more sharp at the end like that you guys can see if it's too wide just keep like brushing you know but here I do a circular motion right here so it's not so like Define and then in the back I'll go like this. But can you, can you guys see the difference now? Once they're sort of tacky still, I, I do it like before they get like too tacky. That's when I start putting them on. And I literally put them on with my finger and I also use tweezers to like really like put them together. It is placed. Now these are my favorite tweezers. These are the Revlon. I think there's also a black version and pretty much I just kind of move the lash exactly to where I want the lash to be placed to make sure it stays there and it's where I want it to go. It's like that. That's how it's going to turn out. I'm still on both eyes. I have not pierced them together because I'm going to wait for them to get tacky on my actual eyelashes. And while I um, wait for that part, this is where I'm going to start putting the bottom mascara on my lashes. I meant mascara on my bottom lashes. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I feel like I'm in a rush now. So I use the telescopic L'Oreal mascara. I think this one's waterproof. Yeah, it's look, it looks like this. It's blue. Um, and then I pretty much just coat my lashes. I like I like this one, especially for my bottom lashes, because it's like really skinny and like it really lets me like get to my lashes. That is how they look with the mascara. I kind of put some a little bit in my waterline, but literally we're about to use the black liner to go on my waterline um also another thing is that i don't always put that since i'm going to the violet i always use a black liner on my waterline but if it's during the day sometimes i don't put no nothing on my waterline can you guys see the difference i put the black waterline on both my lashes on my lashes on my waterline um pretty much this is where i'm gonna start pinching with the tweezers of my lashes and the fake lashes be careful not to grab your skin i've been doing my makeup for like years now so i kind of like i feel like i could do it now like easily but if like you're new at doing this be very careful because you might pinch your actual skin once i do that i literally go in with my finger now and literally pinch them together this is how the eyes look pretty much like this since my shirt um, that I'm gonna wear for the party is sort of this color, like a greenish color. I'm gonna use the Wild Nothing Color Pop palette. Ignore that. <laughs> I'm gonna use this shade, like a green, in the color seashells, and we're gonna put this color in my inner corner. Pretty much, it like looks white, you know, but it just gives a little pop of like green. And then we're gonna put this on the tip of my nose and on the bridge a little bit, not so much. On the bridge not so much just a little bit and then i blend it out with my finger but we're, it's mostly for here and then i do put a little bit little bit on the top of my right here on the brow bone i feel like i still be doing like 2016 makeup just a little bit right there last step to my routine is the lips so right now we're gonna use the la girl this is eyeliner but whatever it's brown it's called yeah it's called brown um and pretty much i'm just gonna use this to line my lips 
Now it just depends what shirt I'm wearing. Um, since today we're gonna, I, like I said, I'm using this color. I'm gonna use my Morphe uh, matte lipstick in the color True Story, and we're just gonna put it and fill it in to the rest of my lips. So I'm gonna wait till this dries, and then um, I'm just gonna go back in with the liner to define it more because you know some of the matte lipstick got on the liner like go over it a little bit and blend everything in but pretty much this is how it's going to turn out the end this is the finished look the sun kind of did go away because it's already getting to sunset so that's why it's not as good but this is how it looks in natural lighting right now i'm going to show you guys with like a light like with light on me and to see, show y'all how it looks but this is how it looks overall this is how it looks under other light it looks really good i'm gonna give you guys a close-up look my skin is not perfect guys yes i do have better skin than other people i do know that but i still be having texture and everything you can see and then after sweating guys and everything like my makeup is not gonna look like this but yeah so i hope you guys liked my little tutorial i'm holding the light that's why my hand is right here um hopefully you guys like my tutorial i'm gonna see if i could like put the link in of each product i'm gonna try i'm not so sure um but yeah hopefully you guys liked it thank you thanks for watching